So let me ask you another thing, going all the way back to that first time mm -hmm. when you first started, what was it that made you decide to be an investor in other people's deals rather than investing in your own deals? Yeah, so that's a, that's a great question. Um, you know, I think it, it was twofold. One was kind of, I'm a big believer in specialization of trade. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is to say, if I wanted to become a developer, I'd have to spend 20 years and, you know, all of my working life to become as good as one of the developers that I already have access to. So why would I want to duplicate what infrastructure and capability these guys already have? By taking a partnership approach to things, we can focus on the things that we're good at, which is the capitalization, the structuring, the ongoing management together with the developer. So it's not to say, you know, and I want to make this clear to you, Adam, that we're not here just to put a financing together. We are an asset manager in the sense that when you invest your money with us, we will put it in a project with a developer and we together with that developer will manage that project going forward and make sure that it completes successfully. So what you're getting is two layers of management. One is on the ground execution through the developer. And the second is that other layer of expertise mm. that we bring to the table, which is actively making decisions together with our developer, reporting, financial discipline, uh, running our audits, all the things that you would want to do and, and need or should have as an investor. So where we decided in the early days we wanted to specialize was on that layer that we think marries very well with the execution. It's sort of that bridge between the individual investor and a real estate developer. And why we decided to do that, again, is that expertise that I mentioned at the, at, at the onset. I think they have it, so why duplicate it? The second reason is that we felt there was a missing component because if you're an individual investor and you invested directly with a developer, you know, at the end of the day, if the developer is making all the decisions, as an investor, you're really beholden to that developer and their decisions. We, as the sort of middle person or asset manager, we are accountable to the investor. So when we deploy that money with the developer, we're there effectively representing the money and creating that secondary layer that should give people a little more comfort and certainly gives them more protection in the instance of making an investment in a product like this.